This is the story of how I solved the hardest code in Gravity Falls Season 1 way too early. So I start out by taking all of these symbols from that one page in the final episode. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm matching all of these two different numbers because it's just another substitution cipher. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And then here I am literally just mapping all of the different symbols that we see to the different numbers that we just assigned them to. And then what I'm doing here is I am putting it into a big spreadsheet so that I can solve it. Or I, I probably should have done this from the beginning, but oh well, uh, you can always use a trusted trusty hand uh, trusty spread spreadsheet and here I go like trying to figure out essentially which letters are going to be most appropriate for each number you can see I have the at the beginning and that's mainly because there seems to be two instances of those numbers one two and three so I kind of guesstimated a lot of these letters you can see I was kind of stuck here but I got through it eventually. I think the big thing there was the gateway. Uh, that, that kind of gave, gave, a, gave a lot of it away. Um, but you can see that some of these, a lot of them are kind of one letter out from a certain word, so it can only be that word. But now I'll hand you off to Real Time Ozone, who will talk to you about the meaning of this code. Hello guys, sorry I haven't been talking to you in the moment while doing this but i've been trying to figure it out um yeah i mean it's like midnight right now so i didn't really feel like doing this on recording but i thought i record it anyway um but it looks like we've got something we've got somewhere i just don't know okay so i think i just found get girls uh to is, would 12 be an m then me to me I think four is portal. Portal to what is what is that? In infinite, infinite. That's an F. Okay, and then we should have two more. So where's our eleven? Uh, oh, eleven is C, and twenty-two. Twenty-two is here. That's gonna be a B, definitely. All right, what does it say? I haven't read it yet. The portal, when completed, will open a gateway to infinite new worlds and herald a new era in mankind's understanding of the universe. Plus, it will probably get girls to start talking to me finally. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so cool. So if you don't understand how I figured this out, I'm sure I did like a voiceover or something. Where I didn't put, oh, I just manually put in a C. Anyway, so this is a C. Um, the way that I figured this out was you saw in Photoshop, essentially I got all of these symbols and I kind of, I, I put them, I, I assigned each one to a number. So you know how we were talking about um, differences between additive and multiplicative and um, and substitution codes. Essentially, we know that this is a substitution code just from assumption. So what we can do is we can turn it from one assumption, uh, one we can turn it from one substitution code to another, just to make it easier for us to understand. So I turn it all into numbers. Um, so it's not going to be an A1Z26 cipher, of course, but we do know it's going to be number to letter, number to letter. Um, so it's just one substitution to another. Uh, and so I substituted all of these letters for numbers or all these symbols for numbers. And then I've brought it over to here. And this, yeah, I, I brought it over to here and I kind of typed it all out manually in a spreadsheet and then I, from there, I kind of tried to figure out what letters were what. So I'm gonna try and do it manually here. 
in a minute uh, for, for a minute sorry and hopefully I don't lose what I had but I kind of figured out this or I, I tried out this as the because there's also the same word down here and usually I mean there's no other words here that are three letters long um, I don't think that are duplicated uh, are, are there twice so I put the here just as like a test um, so there we go I put the here and then what did I do I think I saw this as a D because it looks like it's past tense this five has to be an O so here we put an O and then this is not the way I did it before but like either way it's it's using that sort of logic of letters in the English language um, kind of my knowledge of like I mean I, I have a very base level knowledge of letters and stuff like that but obviously the most common one is that the most common letter is E in the English alphabet so uh, whenever you find an E it's gonna give you a lot of a lot of it's gonna basically take out a lot of the spaces here now what's even better about this is I can now I can now assign a letter for each symbol and from now on we have this code <laughs> It's insane. That's so cool. It's it's sort of foreshadowing almost for the next season. Like, what does the portal do? It opens a gateway. Like, that's I think that was something we theorized, but that that now kind of confirms it. I think, um, and of course, it it probably <laughs> gets girls to get talking to me finally. That's that's really funny. Um, I'd imagine this is from Stan. But then, but then if it's, no, it's not from Stan because Stan didn't write the books. So it's from the author of the books. The, the author of the books said this, but at the same time, it's, it sounds like Stan, you know, it's kind of like a joke. Uh, it's like half serious, half jokey, which is kind of the characterization of Grunkle Stan. Hmm. I'll need to think about this. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this very short video, but uh, I solved it. <laughs> All right, goodbye.